Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as your Comet K is approaching, so we have started a series where we are discussing the top 30 questions from all the high weightage topics, right? So in this video, we'll be discussing one of the most important chapter that is aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. You can easily expect 4 to 5 questions from this chapter. So there is a very high weightage topic, a lot of reactions are involved in this. So these questions which we will be going to discuss is more or less like uh, some of the questions were taken from your previous year questions. So if you are able to solve these questions, you can assure that you will be able to solve the questions in the exam also. Okay. So please let us see these questions now. So the first question is uh, compound A and C in the following reactions are. Okay. So let us see the first one. So when you have CH3, CHO and with treating with uh, Grignard reagent, we will get the product is CH3COH and then CH3, right? Now, when you do H2SO4 and so this is your product B. When you do H2SO4 and heat, there is dehydration. So we will get CH3, CH double bond CH2. Now, if you take hydroboration and oxidation, right? Now, hydroboration oxidation, what will happen? It will do anti of addition of water. So we will get CH3, CHH and we have CH2OH. Okay. Now, if you see this is your product C. Now, in option A and option like options A and C, the product A and C, you see OH is in the second position here, OH is in the first position here. So, this is nothing but positional isomers. So, correct answer is option number B. Next, which of the following orders is not correct for the decreasing order of acidic character? So, acidic character and basic character questions are very common. So, let us see here. So, if electron withdrawing group is there, then acidity will increase. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have chlorine. Here also chlorine is there. Here also chlorine is there and here there is no chlorine. Now, chlorine has minus I effect which is position dependent. So, the more nearer it is to the conjugate base, the more stable it will be. So, here chlorine is in the second position, here third position and here is in the last position. So, this order is correct. Now, if you see the second one, I, B, R, C, L and F. So, more electronegative element is there, more will be the stable, will be the conjugate base. Now, you see fluorine is highly electronegative. So, it should be more acidic. Okay. So, this uh, order is wrong. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number B. Now, if you see here, there are three chlorine here, two chlorine here and one chlorine here. Right. So, three chlorines are there. So, that will stabilize more. So, this order is also correct. And here if you see more is the number of the hydrocarbons, more will be the instability of the conjugate base. So this order is also correct. Okay. Now next question, which one of the following orders of acidic strength is correct? So if you see acidic strength order, first of all, terminal alkynes are there and RCOH is there. So we know terminal alkynes will be least acidic and RCOH will be more acidic, right? So that is why we can eliminate option A and option number D because here ROH is there. Now, out of water and ROH, water is more acidic. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number C. Okay. Next one. Uh, so, again, our reaction based question CH3, CHO, and HCHO. So, this is your aldol condensation. So, we can write like this we have HCHO and we have CH3, COH. So, when you do like this, this is alpha carbon. So, alpha carbon will attack on the uh, carbonyl carbon of the other compound, right? Then what we have to do? We have to remove one hydrogen from here. So what I will get here one hydrogen will produce and this hydrogen which we removed here we can add here. Right? This is the product. So if I want to write the product I will get. Um, okay. So here we will get HCH2OH. So one second any. Okay. So we will get here HC double bond OH. Right? Yeah. So CH3. Then we have CH2 and here we have OH. Okay. So, sorry, this is CH2. Yeah, CH2, OH and then CH2 here and then we have COH here. Now, what will happen? There will be heat is there. So, there will be condensation. So, I will get here CH2 double bond CH, C double bond OH. Now, when you treat with HCN and so a cyanide atom will attack that is nucleophilic addition reaction. So, we will get CH2 double bond CH, COH and CN. Now, with heat with H3O plus what will happen? This one will convert to acid group. So, we will get 
O O H. So the correct answer for this question will be option number A. Okay. Next, find the product of the given reaction. So we have this is ammonia derivative, addition of ammonia derivative. Very easy question. You have this one with CH3. And here you can write it like this H2N and then CH2 and then CH3. So what happens here? This water group is released out. So we will get the product C CH3 double bond N CH2 and CH3. Okay. So the correct answer for this question will be option number B. Okay. Easy one ammonia derivative addition reaction. Next to differentiate between pentane 2 ONE and pentane 3 ONE a test is carried out. Which of the following is the correct answer? So if you see pentane 2 ONE. Okay. So this is the structure and pentane 3 ONE. Okay. This is the structure. Now this part can you recognize by seeing this one something? This group if it is present it will definitely show iodoform test and a yellow color precipitate is formed. So this compound will not show iodoform test, this compound will show iodoform test. So we can uh, separate them by pentane 2 one will give you iodoform test, option number B. Okay. Next what are the correct steps to convert acetaldehyde to acetone? So if we have acetaldehyde okay, and we want to convert it into acetone. Okay. So you can see number of carbons is increasing. Now if you add C2H5Mg beer, we will get 4 carbons, right? But we need only 1 carbon in case, so this is wrong. Now if you do oxidation and calcium hydroxide and heating, so let us try this one. If I do oxidation, we will get CH3COOH, okay? Now when you treat with calcium hydroxide, we will get a salt of calcium hydroxide that is OCOCH3 and here we will get OCOCH3, right? So now when you uh, heat it, so on after heating this one, so this bond will break, this bond will break and we will get acetone as a product for this one, okay. So the correct answer for this question will be option number B, okay. Next is, uh, which of the following will not undergo HVZ reaction? So what is the condition for HVZ reaction? That there should be one alpha hydrogen. Now if you see there here one alpha hydrogen is present, here also alpha hydrogen is present. But if I draw the structure of this one, propanoic acid, okay, 2,2-dimethyl, right. So this is the alpha carbon, there is no hydrogen attached here, so no alpha hydrogen. So this one will not show HVZ reaction, correct answer is option number C. Now next the reagent with which both acetaldehyde and acetone readily reacts is. So acetaldehyde is a aldehyde group and you have acetone is a ketone group, right. So if you see here, Tollens reagent, Tollens reagent will react with aldehydes. Skiff reagent also will react with aldehyde, Fellings will also react with aldehyde but not with ketone. But Grignard reagent will react with both. So the correct answer for this question will be option number D. Next, which one of the following esters cannot undergo Claisen self condensation? Okay. So what is this Claisen self condens condensation? What is the condition for that? For this, you need to have one alpha hydrogen. Okay. So alpha hydrogen must be present before the ester group. So if you see here, here one this hydrogen is alpha hydrogen. This is the ester group. So this hydrogen is alpha hydrogen. This is the ester group. This is the alpha hydrogen. But if you see this structure, this is C6H5, COO, C2H5, right? So here this is the alpha carbon, but there is no alpha hydrogen here. So this reaction will not show self, uh, place in self condensation. So correct answer for this question is option number B. Now what is Q in the following sequence of reactions? So if we have 4 methyl acetophenol, okay. So you have 4 methyl and then we have acetophenol. Now if you treat it with KMnO4 KOH, so both will get oxidized, right. So we will get a potassium salt O minus K plus and we will get here O minus and K plus. Now when you do hydrolysis just add water so we will get 1,4 four di, dicarboxylic benzoic like two carboxylic acid groups will be present in this one. The common name of this compound is terephthalic acid or the correct answer is option number B. This reaction you may, might be knowing but if you don't know the structure again it will be a problem. Okay, So some common names you should know. Then felling solution is not reduced by. Okay, So let us see the options here. 
you know benzaldehyde is an aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde do not show positive test for felling solution so correct answer for this question is option number c next the oxidation of toluene to benzaldehyde by chromyl chloride is called so this is a very famous name reaction if you have ch3 and you nitrate with cro2 cl2 there is one intermediate formed and then finally we get benzaldehyde right so the correct answer for this one is your etard reaction right next question glacial acetic acid is obtained by okay so glacial acetic acid is a uh, common name of an compound it is obtained by distilling vinegar correct answer is option number d okay next clemenson reduction of a ketone is carried out in presence of which of the following so reagent for clemenson reduction is zinc amalgam and with hcl so correct answer is option number b next the order of reactivity of phenyl magnesium bromide with the following compounds is okay so in uh, carbonyl compounds the order of reactivity depends on the steric hindrance right so aldehydes are always more reactive than ketones so one will be the first one so we can eliminate these two now if you compare these two the steric hindrance is less in phenyl group okay as compared to the uh, this ch3 ch3 that is dimethyl ketone right so in that case the correct answer for this one will be first one then two and then three that is option number d so this is done based on your steric hindrance okay next benedict solution is a mixture of so benedict solution is used to determine your reducing sugar so it is a mixture of copper sulfate sodium citrate and sodium carbonate so correct answer is option number b next benzoic acid with barium hydroxide gives so this is like decarboxylation reaction okay so benzoic acid in presence of barium hydroxide undergoes decarboxylation and we get benzene so correct answer for this question is option number c next ester and acetamide are distinguished by so if we have esters and ester structure is like this okay and acetamide is okay so grignard reagent both will react with grignard reagent derivatives of fatty acid so if you know ester is a derivative of fatty acid but not this one and hydrolyzed with strong acids or alkalis so these two can be used to differentiate between esters and acetamide so correct answer is option b and c not the a one okay so this again hydro uh, can be hydrolyzed with strong acids or alkalis so this one can be hydrolyzed to give you acid and alcohol next which one of the following is a saturated fatty acid so lauric acid is a saturated fatty acid correct answer for this question is option number c now which reagent can bring out the following transformation so rcoh to rch2oh so acid to alcohol we need a very strong reducing agent that is lithium aluminum hydride correct answer is option number d next a ketone gives a yellow precipitate when treated with i2 in an alkaline condition thus the ketone is so for gives a yellow precipitate means it undergoes iodoform reaction so this group must be present so this is called as methyl ketone so the ketone must be a methyl group okay so let us see the next question consider the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid so you know nitro group is present in this so nitro group will do what increase the acidity and if you check para group will further increase the acidic nature because of a uh, more dominant effect of plus r effect in the para position but here you have to for now remember one thing that due to ortho effect okay due to ortho effect the acidity of ortho nitro benzoic acid increases more than the para benzoic acid right so what happens here two will be the highest one so we can eliminate this one okay after two we will have four sorry after two we will have three then we will have four and then we will have one so correct answer is option number c okay so what happens here this is because of ortho effect then nitro group will do minus r effect no2 will have minus i effect and this has no effect so it will come at the last okay so next question which of the following is the correct sequence of relative acidic strength okay relative acidic strength if you see fluorine is more electronegative so it will stabilize the conjugate base more because of its high electronegativity then fluorine chlorine and bromine so correct answer for this question will be option number a okay next question uh, among the two chloropropanoic acid three chloropropanoic acid two two dichloroacetic acid and propanoic acid the ka values will be accordingly okay so we have two chloropropanoic acid okay and then we have three chloropropanoic acid 
and then we have 2,2-dichloroacetic acid. Okay. And then we have propanoic acid. Okay. Ka values will be in the order. So, if you remember, since it has two chlorine groups, two electron withdrawing groups minus I effect, it will be more stable, right? So, if this one is more stable, so first we have this option we can eliminate, this option we can eliminate. Now, chlorine is in uh, distance dependent. So, the two chloropropanic acid is more closer. So, it will be more acidic. So, we can have this one here. So, this one is wrong. So, correct answer will be option number A, okay? So, propanic acid will not come at the starting because it has no electron withdrawing group. So, A will be the correct answer. Okay, next, a reaction between a carbonyl compound and a Grignard reagent is termed as. So, this is a nucleophilic addition reaction. Correct answer is option number A. Next, ethanol is treated with primary alcohol in presence of HCl gas. The reaction is known as. So, when you treat an aldehyde with alcohol, RCOH with ROH. So, what will happen? This one will react on this one. So, we will get ROH OR. Now, once again, if you treat, we get RCOR and OR. Right? So, this is the formation of an acetal formation. So, correct answer for this question is option number B. Next. CH3CN and NaC2H5OH. So, first this one will convert, it will reduce it to CH3, CH2, NH2. This is your A. Now, when you treat it with HNO2, we will get acid, uh, sorry, alcohol here. And then when you treat it with, this is your B. And then when you treat it with copper, we will get, uh, this one will oxidize to CH3CHO. So, correct answer for this question is option number B. Next. Which of the following will not undergo HBZ reaction? Again, there should be alpha hydrogen for that. In acetic acid, the structure is like this. This is the alpha hydrogen. So, it will show in formic acid, if you see the structure is like this. This is no, not, the, not alpha hydrogen, right? Because this is not the alpha carbon. It is the same carbon where the functional group is present. So, this one is not having alpha hydrogen. It will not show HBZ reaction. And the next last question acetone and acetaldehyde are. So, these are your functional isomers. This is ketone group and this is aldehyde group. So, correct answer for this question will be option number C that is functional isomers. Okay. These were the top 30 questions from your aldehydes and ketones chapter. Although the chapter is very important but questions asked are not very difficult. So, please prepare these questions, revise them properly, re revise all the name reactions of this chapter. So, if you want to watch the organic chemistry name reactions, we have a video in this. So, just just revise all the name reactions, write down the reagents, products and reactants and revise multiple times. It will be very helpful. So, that's all for this video. If you have any doubt in any question, please post in the comment section. I will definitely address it in my next video. So, if you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you and all the very best for your Comet K examination.